Hello, and welcome to Laboo's Sewing Center's new digitizing series. My name is Tucker, and I'm going to be your host here. This little series is going to focus on Brothers Digitizing Software, PE Design, specifically the 10th version of this software. Now, there is an 11th version, and that is the most current version of the software. 10 and 11 are pretty much identical, with just a few features being different in version 11. For that most part, we're going to be using 10. Anytime I go over specific features with 11, I will show that in the software. Now, Brother PE Design is basically identical to Baby Lock Palette. They are pretty much sisters. So this is going to be very, very much like Palette 10. A lot of your features and buttons and layouts pretty much are going to be identical. Now in this series, I am hoping to go more in depth with digitizing. To start off though, we're just going to be going over your opening menu here just to get you a little started. So when you first open your software, you're going to see this little green or green <laughs> gray menu. If you don't see this, this means you have clicked this button down here. Now I'm going to show you how to get the wizard. Wizard is what brother calls it back in case you have closed it. So if you go up here to the little PE flower, click that and you'll see another uh, little tab here that says wizard. We're going to click that and boom, your wizard is back. Now make sure that you have this checked. I love having the wizard up anytime I open the software. So I always recommend people having this checked. So it comes up every time you open the software. Now, each one of these buttons does take you to another screen. We're not going to be going over everything today. We're just going to go over roughly what each of these buttons do. Starting off on the left side here is use template design. Now, PE design comes with a lot of preloaded things, pretty much. You have a lot of preloaded fonts, uh, text layouts, shapes, different images, you have tutorials, there is so much on PE design that's included that a lot of people never even use or see because they don't know where to find it. So using template design here is going to be some of those included layouts. Now these specifically have to do with text. So this is going to be a great way to have a text on a shape or something or a fun little design or have a monogram put up. There's a bunch of different layouts here that are easily editable. I'm going to do a whole video on them later. But for now, that is where you can play to make up different text layouts. Next up is going to be creating embroidery patterns using images. Now, in case you do not know, digitizing is when you're taking a image and turning it into an embroidery file. This is called digitizing. So within digitizing, you have manual digitizing and auto digitizing. Pretty much how it sounds, manual is you're doing all the work yourself. Auto digitizing, the computer is doing most of the work for you. Now within auto digitizing, you have your standard punch as well as your photo stitch. These are very different and give you very different outcomes and we will be doing multiple videos on these later down the road. The next button here is gonna be set hoop size and fabric. We are gonna be doing this button at the end of this little tutorial. So I'm not gonna to stay too much time on that. Next up is gonna be import embroidery patterns. Now, like I said, you have a bunch of included things within PE. That's what all three of these are. Import text is going to be importing text layouts. The shapes here is going to be importing shapes. As you can see in the right part of my screen here, that's kind of what that looks like. And the one all the way on the right is going to be your design library. Like I said, it has a bunch of designs already pre-programmed in there. So if you just want to play around with something, you can go ahead and click that and open some of their already digitized files. Now, up here in the top right, this is going to be where 10 and 11 kind of differ. 10 has your manual already included within the software. So by clicking this button right here, you're going to open up the manual. You can control F and search that thing. It's great. With 11, you have to have internet access. It, the button's going to be over here. And when you press that button, it's going to open up your browser and it's going to open up the manual that way. Next up is going to be your most recently used files. Pretty self-explanatory. This is going to include the files you opened recently. If you haven't opened anything, it's going to be blank. Um, 
Next up here is going to be open embroidery design. This is going to be for files that you already have on your computer, whether or not you bought them, digitize them yourself. By any other means, this is how you're going to be opening those files. And the last one on the wizard is going to be start design database to manage embroidery files. This is just a fun little second program that's kind of included in PE. It's a very easy way on how to organize your files, how to send them to USBs, as well as how to wirelessly send them to your machines. Now your machine does have to be Wi-Fi enabled and not all embroidery machines are Wi-Fi enabled. So in order to use that feature, you will have to have that requirement. Now, this is pretty much the wizard. Uh, we're gonna go over set hoop size and fabric. So within PE, you can digitize in either a multi-needle or a flatbed hoop, basically. Uh, big differences between the two is how it's gonna be oriented as well as the hoop sizes. Now, this software is geared towards brother and baby lock machines. So your hoop size uh, pull down bar here is gonna include all of the brother hoops. Now this machine, this software does not know what machine you have, so it's gonna show all of them. Please be aware of what your machine's maximum hoop size is, because if you digitize in a hoop size that is bigger than what your machine allows, there's a good chance your machine might not be able to read the, the file. So always make sure you know what your hoop size is and that your machine can take that. Now, for some reason, I can't get that to work there. So as you see, as you click it, you'll have all of your hoop sizes there. Now, one of the great things that I love so much about the software is if you don't have Brother Baby Lock machines, that does not mean you don't get to use the software. PE actually has a custom size option where you can make your own size uh, hoops. So if you have a different brand like Janome or Faf or Bernina, you can really do whatever size you need to in order to fit that and still digitize for those machines. Now, as you can see here, it says inches. I do have mine set to inches instead of millimeters. It really just depends on what you're used to. I'm used to inches because we are based in the United States. Now, the last part of this little hoop size thing is going to be your page and background color. For the most part, I stay with the default, which is white and gray. Uh, some people might have some color blindness or something where you need to change that so it's an even harsher, not harsher, but a bigger difference. Or if you just don't like seeing your designs on white, typically if I am digitizing a white design, I might change it to a different color. Uh, I typically go for the more muted colors instead of the bright neons, but whatever works best for you is gonna be what you use. These color parts right here do not affect your actual finalized design. So really whatever you find most comfortable with is going to be what you wanna use here. By clicking OK, you are going to open up the fabric selector. Choose whatever fabric you're planning to use when the in the final pro project. Um, you will see here that it does say recommended stabilizers. Now, please take this advice with a grain of rice. The software does not know what you're stitching, does not know really what your project is going to be, if you're going through padding, all that. There's so much that the software doesn't know. So stick with what you know, but it does give you a good place to start if you really don't know where to start. Once you click OK, everything is good to go and you are ready to start your digitizing journey. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are in the Ann Arbor, Michigan area or just in the Toledo area, we have a lot of Ohioans come over and see us. Make sure you come see our shop. We are a Brother and Baby Lock dealer as well as a normal quilt shop. Now, we also do have an online store and for the most part, all of our products are also available online. So make sure you check us out there. And my managers, Sarah and Lisa, do live stream on Facebook and YouTube every Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. EST. Uh, thank you so much. If you guys have any specific things you want to learn regarding digitizing or PE design, please let us know. I am more than happy to do specific lessons. If not, I'm just going to be continuing on with teaching you the wonderful world of this software. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys.